happy Saturday. Uh, can you cut Beyonce off, ma'am? Can I cut Beyonce off? Cut Beyonce off because I'm going to get copyrighted. Um, they gonna they gonna copyright my video. Hey y'all, it's your girl Sheena with She Is Fab and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sheena and she does all the things. If you are an oldie but a goodie, hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey. You know how we do. So happy Saturday. I have a little visitor in the car with me. Her name is Shelby Marie. Say hi, Shell. Hi. <laughs> That's how you talk too, so don't even laugh. Cause I'm trying to hold my in. Hi guys. Are you trying to say my voice is fake? Yes. <laughs> we just left the gym, y'all. I'm about to run an errand. I'm gonna go home and make us some brunch. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. We got smoothies. This is a vegan mocha something, 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 and it's good. And Shelby got a power punch plus, and she said it's really good. Mm -hmm. So um, we were just in the car talking about plastic surgery. My child has approved. I just, you know, nothing that I approve. I she just, just approved really, my man, next procedure. This is my mindset. I just hope somebody don't be like, let me see your mama. And she got Botox and she, it, it looked bad. <laughs> Show or me. you got like, no, no, no. I just don't want you to have bad plastic surgery. Because you know, like, I've seen bad faces, bad noses, bad, I've seen it all. So it's just like, I don't want to be like, oh, this is my mom. And it's just like. Your she lips terrible. Yeah. Well, I don't need any. That look terrible, but like your, you, you can tell that you have like have had work done, and it just don't look good. Okay. Well, I'm not getting any work done to my face. Okay. Oh. I, do I need work to my done to my no. face? Okay. That's why you say you I, was getting the little lines or whatever. Well, I do want some yeah. some some Juvederm in these smile lines of mine, but that's not. Um. Yeah, if I get that, I get that. If not, if not. The only other thing that I want is I want my boobs done. And I want a, probably a little bit of lipo. So, maybe by the end of this year. But the reason we started talking about plastic surgery is because one of my IG sisters. Well, I went when I went to the gym, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, then you see my posts. Because today we did legs and, you know, lower back. And um, I put... Once my booty get big, it's over for everybody. It's, it's just over for everybody. <laughs> and so I was um, replying to one of my IG sisters. She was laughing. She sent the laughing emoji. And I talk, and I was telling her that I swear to God, if I was not scared to get a BBL, I would I would have already had a BBL. Um, but I have seen more bad booties than I've seen good booties. And Shelby has agreed with me because we were like. I done seen too many bad BBLs. I, I just, I, I would want to kill myself if I got a bad BBL. <laughs> I swear. Listen. It's so embarrassing. I mean, it's just like and you know, like, you know how your, how you want your body looking. Just getting, you know, like, right. Like everybody knows that you had a bad BBL. Mm -hmm. So I want, you know, something more natural. So. Mama, we passed. Uh, -uh oh. we turn up here. Um, and for me, you know, I have more hips than anything. So, I figure, you know, listen, a BBL is just not on the table for me. I mean, I would literally have to, my, do my doctor would have to sign something saying that I'm going to come out with the perfect butt. And I know there's no such thing. And I've done a lot of research. You know, a lot of times you do have to get revisions. Um, I know people who had to get revisions on their tummy tucks. So there's no such thing as the perfect surgery. I mean, you get really lucky if you get a really good doctor and you um, come out, you know, with that, with not having to have a revision, like my tummy tuck. Um, do I feel like I could have a revision? I do feel like my stomach could have been flatter. Um, but I also, I got, I barely got down to the, the BMI just to have the surgery. So what I'm, what I'm saying is if I had probably waited and lost more weight, maybe it would just, it would be like washboard flat. Cause my stomach is not washboard flat. Um, but at this point I'm very, very happy with my results. I know I have not done, um, a tummy tuck follow-up which I, I need to do for you guys but I absolutely love my stomach um when I get lipo probably at the end of the year um, I'll probably have them lipo more out of my stomach but I don't feel like I need a revision I know a lot of people who say because I, I did a lot of research 
on the internet about it and a lot of people you know they didn't come out with really good results the first go around and most if not all doctors do revisions um, but they they only charge you for um, the anesthesia the actual revision is free so but anyway let me run this errand and I will oh shoot I passed it Nicole's house um, I will check back with you girls once we get home and make brunch. Listen, when the sun is out, honey, the sun is sunning, and I just, I just, 
I feel so rejuvenated. You know, that vitamin D, that that vitamin D is what you girls need, okay? You need some of that vitamin D. Anyway, I'm Jaw Jack and I just came on to say happy Sunday Sunday. Um, so I'll see you girls back at the house um, once I've made um, a little bit of brunch and um, put the flowers together. chilling um haven't heard from lauren so girl these young kids honey she was partying like it was 1999 last night so um yeah probably will not see her today uh, it's still kind of early though but let me tell you one thing about me and my sundays if i don't have to go nowhere i don't go so i'll see that child when i see her but um i did a wash and go my hair is about maybe 75 percent dry so um i'm watching youtube i'm watching marie j i uh, was watching um it's e lifestyle earlier um i try to watch um vloggers that you know we have a little something in common with i know marie j is um very young i think she's 28 or 29 um but i i like her she's very mature um for her age so um and she just got a new place and i like her decor style and just think she's a very um nice young lady i like her a lot but anyway i wanted to show you guys um the app that i'm using for journaling um i will link my um fake um eye pencil in the uh, description because I, I was just doing some editing so you guys did get a chance to see it it's an excellent um um you know fake eye pencil i mean i i absolutely love it um and then i also ordered some more flat some Tory Burch flats from the real real so I'll show you guys those but let me show you um the apps and then I did finish my vision board for 2023 I do feel like that was one thing that I was missing because I normally do my vision board in January didn't get a chance to do it finished it yesterday and now I just feel I feel so much better I feel so much better I feel like you know Things are going to start coming together. Um, I think I mentioned in my last vlog where I just felt uninspired. I felt like I had stopped growing. I do have some really good news um, to share with you guys, but not in this vlog. Not just yet. But um, I do have some really, 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 really good news. But um, 
Uh, so yeah, I got the vision board finished. So let me show you the app that I am using for um, my journaling and affirmations. All right, so I don't wanna show you guys too much of my vision board um, because it is very, very personal. So let me see. Okay, so this is the app for, uh oh, let me go back, for the journaling. And I gotta figure out the name of it. I will put the name um, on the screen, but this is just a blank page. So you can just go where it says untitled. And then if you wanna do like a, a new page, you go here and then you can ch uh, choose a page style. So this is totally free. Um, I just downloaded it from the Apple store. So this is the one that I'm using, just the blank, but they do have the one with grids, um, with a dot grid, regular grid, and then um, lined. Child, I write so big that I just, I can't do <laughs> lined anything. Um, even when I'm trying to uh, write on line paper with a, with an actual pen, I write really, really big. But anyway, and then you can save it to PDF. You can share your journal. You can print it. So again, this is all um, free. And then here it has um, quick journals. So this is a quick start guide. I haven't quite looked at this one yet, but if you do this, oh, let me go back. New journal. Um, if you begin a new journal, you can start with a basic page, full journal, um, import PDF. So this is actually really, really good. Like I said, I'll put the name on the screen because I can't really see the name from the, um, from the, from here. Um, it just says Z-I-N. Okay, and then I used um, Good Notes for affirmations. Now, I haven't yet downloaded anything um, to Good Notes. Um, Good Notes is where you can do like a digital planner. Um, and then uh, most people get their digital planners from Etsy, but you have to have downloaded Good Notes, um, if I'm not mistaken, on your iPad. Now, I am not a digital, um, I'm not the person to listen. I had to watch other videos to figure out how to do this, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. So, if you want to get into the digital planning, um, definitely watch um, a video on it. There are tons of YouTube videos on digital planning. So, it's something that I actually enjoy. So, I've just started um, my little digital planning um journey so just stay tuned for that all right y'all so i'm sorry about that uh dishwasher making all of the noise making all of the noise but honey we gotta wash dishes around here so uh, i did go ahead and open them already they came in this dust bag and here are these beauties oh these are so pretty I opened them up in the car really quick when I went to go check the mailbox. So I really didn't do too much inspecting. Now, they didn't say that they were brand new. They said just in really excellent condition, but looks like whoever had these, if they did wear them, they only wore them like maybe once or twice. So they are pre-loved, but they do look brand new. And I think uh, Tori Birch, um, her flats, I think they are excellent um for a business casual work wardrobe in my opinion um i think they elevate um your outfit like these are just super super cute and then y'all know i love all things animal print especially leopard this tv is like a pewter color not really a silver but like a pewter if you can see that and I think this week's theme is going to be mixing prints. I have a uh, red and white striped dress I think will go really, really nice with these. I think that's what I'm gonna try to put together for tomorrow. If you don't know, I do, well, I hadn't uploaded in quite some time, but I do uh, what I wore to work 
um, what I wore to what what I wore to work this week. Um, I just uploaded one on Friday, so I will put that video down in the description. Um, a lot of you, you know, love those types of videos because it gives you ideas on what to wear to work, and um, I am all about elevating your work wardrobe, but on a budget, girl. Okay, I think Tory Burch flats are excellent like it elevates it gives you that little bit of you know contemporary luxury um you know without spending a whole lot of money because like where am i going to wear these two besides work so why spend because like the regular price of, of these um flats these rebus if you don't go to the outlet now we do have an outlet um but at the outlet they're still going to be probably over a 100 bucks but if you shop the real real and find items that have barely been worn or you know gently used like i know i didn't pay any more than 60 dollars for these so but anyway child listen i like to be fly on a budget i like luxury but i like it at the lowest price possible <laughs> that's just that's that's just me okay it's always gonna be me baby i i am bougie on a budget Okay, bougie on a budget. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be it for me today. Um, I'm going to have me a glass of cab, pop me some popcorn, and sit on the sofa till I fall asleep. I don't plan on doing anything else. I'm going to finish Marie J's new video. Um, well, it's from six days ago. I'm going to finish this video. Um, the Grammys are coming on tonight. Child, I haven't watched the Grammys and I don't know how long. I don't know. They said Beyonce is supposed to be on there. So we'll see, child. Like, this, why is this side of my hair so much shorter than this side? But y'all know this is going to be a cute little curly fro tomorrow. That day one hair, honey. And plus, I used my wig brush to get the, t the curls really, really tight because I don't plan on... Um, I plan on wearing this all week. I don't plan on, because the weather is supposed to be really nice. Saturday is Miles' birthday party, so maybe I'll redo it Friday to have a fresh wash and go for the weekend. But, child, if this will last, it, it probably won't last all week, now that I think about it, because I'm going to work out this week. But anyway, it's going to last me at least three days. At least <laughs> three days. But anyway, um, the Grammys come on tonight, as well as Real Housewives of Potomac. So, she ain't going to be on the sofa. I ain't doing nothing else today. I am going to cook dinner. I took out some chicken thighs, probably some veggies and some rice. But other than that, I'm not doing anything else. So, um, this was a real chill vlog. Nothing went on this weekend. Um, so, yeah. If you are new here and you like my content, I hope you will consider subscribing. If you are an oldie but a goodie, Girl, you know I love you. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Leave me a comment. Um, share this video with a good sis. Subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.